Welcome to the heart of Sooner Nation, Gaylord Family Oklahoma Memorial Stadium. And if you aren't familiar with the saying, Boomer, Sooner, you will be soon enough. Today, we have one of those games that tests your focus. Top 25 team against an unranked opponent. Can you take care of business? As we'll see a squad from the AAC, the Temple Owl, taking on the 14th ranked team in the land, the Oklahoma Sooners. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. about to kick it off and get this game underway. On the move from inside his spot. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So the Oklahoma Sooners offense takes the field. And there's a man who believes he is always open. He carries that swag and that aura of a big-time playmaker, guys. He's got to catch the football. If you're the quarterback coming into this one, you are looking for this guy early, and David, you're looking for him often. And this well, offense yeah. better Five, find four, ways to feature four, him. Four, find four. him, like you said, Three, Jesse, four. early, often, yeah. deep, shallow. Get this man the football. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. Grab behind the line. It's Burks. They get him down after he makes the catch. These guys are called matchup guys. They're not the biggest guys on the field, but they're going to win. Short, and they're going to catch the ball, and they're going to make yards after the catch. You can tell those are the type of guys in college football that are starting to get maximized and used a lot more than they were in the past. And the Sooners in the hurry up. Looking downfield, it's Arnold. They're setting up the screen. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. You got to love that on defense. One of the most critical statistics out there is how do you play on third down? How do you prevent the opponent from keeping drives alive? Right there, tackling the catch. You gave up the completion. What do you do? You set up fourth and long. You're going to get the ball back. Go get some water and celebrate. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He'll settle for some pretty good field position and make the fair catch at around the 35. So the Temple Owls offense has the ball for the first time. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, then they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt. they got to show up. These are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. Big play in the passing game there, and I like the receiver gearing down in the zone. Did a nice job finding the soft spot on defense between the defenders, giving the quarterback an easy target to throw to to complete that throw. Wants to throw on first down. Fires to the wide out. Complete to the left. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. I'll tell you, for this defense, they're going to have to find a way to bracket the slot receiver because of how athletic he is. They're going to need to make sure they've got linebackers and DBs surrounding this guy at all times. This crowd going to try to make life miserable for these guys. Caught over the middle. It's Bolden. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. This tight end's a weapon because he can give you yak after the catch. You see him break that tackle? That was pretty impressive, showing off his athleticism. This crowd rising up, sensing that its defense needs some help. To the air, it's Brock. Fires to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Owls. Touchdown. And what a nice start for this Number offense. The throw two. game getting okay. working, Indian getting the Indian touchdown top. pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense.
He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point makes it 7 0. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish it with an 11 yard touchdown dart. The kickoff unit about to go to work. On the run from inside his own five. And the coverage team gets the returner on the ground. Guys, we'll get another look at this Oklahoma offense. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this all... And he is snowed under. Sacked at the seven. They were trying to set up a screen. Instead, what they got was their quarterback putting paper and plastic and sacked. And how about the speed on defense with that rush? Getting to the QB so quickly. You're not expecting to get home on a screenplay like that, but... Man, the old saying, speed kills, and you saw it right there. Hoping to find one that works this time on second down from the seven. Now the play fade. Finds his tight end. Pulled down for the tackle. And that's why play action is going to be big in this game. You saw how it just freezed the second level of that defense just for a second and allowed the tight end to work himself vertically down the field. But how about this guy after the catch, right? So hard to bring down. What a weapon. The Sooners will hustle to the line. Bully ball on third and short. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. What a great play by the linebacker. Do you talk about filling a hole? Defensive line does their jobs. He comes in the hole and says, sit down, sir. The Sooners decide to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And the punt team gets down there and gets the return man on the ground. Temple takes over, and the Owls send the offense back onto the field. That last drive really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown. Everything working. I would expect them to keep pushing this ball downhill. And just imagine if they could put another touchdown on the board right here. They could capture so much momentum in this game with back-to-back -back TDs. They'll snap it from the 36. They've got a first down. Gets it out quickly. Knocked down at the 25-yard line. Picked up 10 there and gets a first down. And that's just a great individual effort by the wide receiver. He catches this ball way short of the sticks, but because he's able to make the defender miss, now he's able to get the extra yards and turn that into an explosive play. From the 25-yard line, it's first and 10. Power football with the run got the first down and more he's all the way down to the three and electric run has him set up man this is a guy who just seems to get better as the game goes on what a run getting his offense down close to the goal line. so nice creating explosive runs in the run game now you're getting in the red inside the five go punch this in and get a touchdown the owls have it in scoring position on first and goal Slams it ahead. Yeah. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. It's hard to run on a defense that comes off the ball like that and runs to the football like that. Good luck. No holes anywhere. Got nothing last time. Now second and goal from the three. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. And they swarm him under. I like offenses being creative. I'm not sure if that was the best place to call that play. I think this offense needs to think about just doing things a little bit more by the book. They've got a lot of good playmakers. You don't have to reinvent the wheel this early in the game. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. 
Wants to fire it in the end zone on third and goal. He snares it in the end zone. Touchdown, Owl! And the defense just has to do a better job in coverage in that situation. Down close to the goal line, you know it's going to be man coverage. You just have got to do a better job sticking on your guy. And the defender just simply got beat. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they capped the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there getting set. Sets a kickoff. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. They'll be able to get off one more play before quarter's end. It's a reverse. That one did not go well. Tackled in the backfield for a loss of six. Guys, it's Temple with the lead here at the end of the quarter. Man, that was an impressive and dominant first quarter. Let's take a look at the stats before we move on. Now the challenge here, they've taken a punch, but they can't let it get out of hand as we start the second. They'll run play action. He's looking deep. He's got it downfield for a huge game. Got a lot of running room. Touchdown Sooners. That is the ultimate grab and go for the score. Did not take long to get into the end zone. Now let's see if this gets this offense to hit overdrive. Now we may have a situation here. We might have points, more points, and more points. You keep putting drives together like that, that quickly, chewing up that much yardage, defenses are going to have to get something they get out. Ready to try the point the after. Is on for the extra point. And after the extra point, they cut the lead in half, down 14-7. They wasted no time on that drive, got it on their 25, and two plays later, they're in the end zone. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The give to the back. He'll be stopped just short of the 20 at the 19, give him one. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous, and the defense did a good job getting him down there, but they got to do a great job game tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. Temple lines up quickly. Quick pass on the fly motion. Well, I love the aggressive nature of the defense on that play. Everybody playing with eye discipline. They saw the pre-snap motion. They knew who had the football. And you saw guys play with excellent instinct, running downhill and making a tackle. Listen to this crowd just shaking the girders of this place, trying to help their defense. On third and long, he's going to have to turn one loose downfield. And that defense gets to him, and down he goes at the nine. Yeah, that's a great job. And listen, this quarterback's had success. He's already thrown for two touchdowns. we got to make him feel uncomfortable. This is still early in the game. Nice job by the defense getting a hit on the quarterback and making him think a little bit.
Temple lining up to punt it away. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. He just wanted to get it out of there from his end zone. Makes a move. Still on his feet. This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return. Gets a little bit of ground for the offense. On the ground, it's all Chuck. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. That's a really good job by the defense. Wrapping them up, getting them on the ground. Take away that run game. Make them one-dimensional. Put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. Out of the gun. The inside handoff to the running back. Oh, look out! And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that. What a run. Great speed, great vision, elusiveness, and David, he's tackled down close to the goal line. Yeah, and this offense, when you can run the football like this, man, you will have success, especially in the red zone, trying to get touchdowns. And the Sooners have it with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. Listen, the defense is about energy. It's about passion. It's about physicality. They need a little bit more of that. Get the guy in the ground. You can't let guys break tackles. It, what could have been set up in a long yard situation, now it becomes an easier situation because you couldn't get him on the ground. Softened him up with a run and now to throw. Now improvising. And the defense makes a play, sacking him back at the 10. And when you get closer to this area near the red zone and closer inside the five like you are here, it's tough to throw certain routes, right? Like, you need to throw those slants. You need to throw those fades. Get the ball out of the quarterback's hands really, really quickly because you know you're going to get some pressure from that defense. Third and goal coming up here. Off play action. He makes a catch at the end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma. This guy is officially a problem. His second receiving touchdown of the game. Nice job by the offense. Dude, if I've got a matchup I like, continue to pick at it until they stop it. Getting set for the point after. Hit that one with some aggression for the point after. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they finish it off by connecting from 10 yards out. After that latest answer, tied beings up, just about set to kick it away again. Here he comes from inside his own five. Good job by the coverage unit to stop the return man. Temple takes over, and the offense will return to the field. David, the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter. Like that. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. Temple lines up quickly. They go to the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. That linebacker was a heat-seeking missile, and the heat that he sought was the ball carrier. Yeah, great job, great feel. Linebackers are making all the calls in the defense and understanding when I need to come through that gap and come through with bad intentions. Those guys are usually 245 pounds of heat-seeking missile. They give it to him again. Defense in the right spot. They stop him after a gain of two to the 28. And sticking to the run. I tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football 
even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football. You can tell. They've made third down offense a key. It'll be tested on third and long from the 28. Dropping back, it's Brock. They're trying to get to it. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back in the 16. Just a great job defensively, making him go through his progressions, and he really didn't have time to do it. And that's exactly what you do in zone coverage. You drop in your spots, you read the quarterback's eyes, make sure you take away that quick stuff, and a great job rushing the passer and getting the sack. Temple lining up to punt it away. Slips through the line. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. So Oklahoma has it again, and here comes the offense. The sweet feet keeping the play alive. They finally get him on the ground, but not before he rips off enough for a first down. These guys aren't human. I mean, they got to survey the field, throw the football, make deep passes, and then guess what else? They pull the ball down, take off, and make big chunks of plays on the ground. It's just impossible to be on defense nowadays. They've got it down to the 32. First and 10 coming. Quick strike complete. Yeah, and that was tough on the DB, right? He's trying to cover the receiver on a drag route, running back over the middle of the field. You're trying to avoid all the linebackers, all the congestion. He just couldn't stay with them long enough, and as a result, fresh set of downs for the offense. Let's see what they've got on second down. He's looking to throw. Catch in the middle. It's Roberts. The tackle is made, but he's got it first and goal from the six. And a really good job by the quarterback being very decisive. He saw his matchup. He went for it. He attacked it. Got the positive gain. I would say he's going to find that guy a few more times today. The Sooners trying to cash it in on first and goal. Looking to throw. It's Arnold. Let's it go to the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown Sooners. And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And I'll tell you what, heat that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. And let's hold on just a minute here as the officials are going to have a second look. And they take another look at the play with the officials on the field. We're right, and the play will stand. And with the extra point, the score is now 21 to 14. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they get it into the end zone with a six-yard touchdown pass. Kickoff team has the ball teed up, and they're about ready to go. And he takes this from inside the five. And the returner will be brought down. Temple takes over, and the Owls send the offense back onto the field. So late in the half, this is really an opportunity, David, maybe to swing the momentum in their favor. Dang right. There's no time to be concerned. If we're a little bit down, listen, I just think this is a point with the offense that they can prove. Like, we're here. We're going to create something now that we can build on in the second half. Coach said all week he wanted to be aggressive. This is a great opportunity to show that right now. At the end of the first half, try and generate some momentum, score some points before going into halftime. Motion from the offense. They'll throw it on first down. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Man, that's a big missed opportunity for the running back. I'm trying to find ways to feature this guy and get him the football in space and not just hand it to him all the time. And I'll tell you what, I'm a lot less likely to find those plays if he can't reel in those catches. Back to throw. It's Brock. Trying to get behind the defense. And they can't hook up. Going for the big play on second down. Now it's third down. DB does an outstanding job here on the deep pass. Locating the football. No P.I. able to swat it away, pass incomplete. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. 
And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. Timeout called here by the defense. It's their first of the half. Temple lining up to punt it away. Running it back, it's Bowen. He'll get it up to about the 44-yard line before they slam the brakes on him. The offense lining up for a first down play. Looking to move it through the air. Throws to the back. And it just squirted through his hands. He wanted to take off and got too anxious. Yeah, and he looked like he had the opportunity to secure that obviously open over the middle of the field. But you know how that works. Middle of the field, more defenders. Am I going to get whacked when I hit this thing? It makes those guys think a little bit. You see more drops over the middle of the field. Right back up top on second and ten. Get it out on the screen. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. They'll immediately call timeout. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. Throws to the wideout. Find space on the right. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. They'll have to settle for a field goal attempt. He will need some oomph in this one. A 51-yard attempt and from the right side. It is good! And that lead grows even bigger. How nice is it as a head coach to have a kicker like this? It makes these decisions on fourth down so much easier. Just strut him out there and let him stroke it through the uprights. That late in the half field goal always gives you a little boost going to the locker room, and they'll need to finish off these final few seconds and not allow them to answer. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Good job by the coverage unit. Put a stop to that return. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Guys, you've been calling a lively one from Norman so far. And there is no better place to start this halftime than by reviewing how this wideout has been a one-man wrecking crew. The kid's been everywhere. And I love how he's willing to go across the middle, but that he also has the Jets to burn these DBs on the deep ball. If this defense wants to actually come back in this one, they better hide his cleats. And with that, let's head back to Oklahoma and Memorial Stadium. Kickoff and kickoff return teams on the field, and we are just about ready to go in the second half. He'll start the return inside his five. And the returner could find no daylight. He goes down. Temple takes over, and the offense will return to the field. Down two possessions to start this third quarter. They'd love to build some early momentum. You ain't lying, because you only got so many possessions here in the second half, so now you're down. I got to maximize every single one. Put your best plays together. Start this drive off on a good note. Yeah, it starts right here. Obviously, can't get it all back on this drive, but you can create that momentum. You can create something special and some energy, but it's going to start with this offense here executing at a high level. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. I love the quick decision that QB made there on that RPO, knowing he wanted to get it out of his hands fast. He just needs to make a more accurate throw moving forward. Couldn't make the play last time. Now it's second and 10 from the 30. The give is to Smith. At the 40, there he goes. Brought down at the 45 after a 15-yard pickup. You're down. Obviously, the half you had a conversation. We got to come out and put points on the board. And Jesse, it looks like they're going to start with the ground game. 
And I love this, David, too. Regardless of whether they're losing or they're winning, come out here and try to be the most physical unit here in the second half. Get this run game established. Looking to go up top on first down. Gets it out fast. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. That was a nice pickup, running the drag route and finding that quiet, soft spot in the zone. Yeah, drag routes not only work against man coverage, they work against zone, too. If you can find the soft spot and the quarterback gets it to him early, he can turn up field, and you saw that right there. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Grabbed in the middle, it's right. What a nice connection, knocked down immediately they've got it at the 25. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. Trying play action. Trying to get to it. And they get the sack just like that. Oftentimes with play action, you're asking the quarterback to hold on to the ball a bit longer, and you're asking this offensive line to hold up and pass pro a bit longer. Against this athletic front seven on defense, it's going to be tough. Really need to pick up some yardage this time on second and long. Dropping back, it's Brock. Pressure coming. And the pass is incomplete. Jarred loose by the hit. Guys, this offense is already reeling down. Multiple possessions really need to cash in on this drive. On third and long, he'll need to loosen up that arm. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Now on fourth down, they'll settle for a field goal try. And he'll try to bang this one through from 52 yards out and the left hatch. Field goal is good. Well, that kid just showed off his hammer for a leg, 50-plus, and he did it with ease. After putting out the field goal, they're set to kick it away. On the move from inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Here comes the Oklahoma offense. Man, how comforting is it to know that even if your offense stalls out a little, Jesse, that field goal kicker can knock it in from a long way out. Well, he's one of the best in the country, Reese, no doubt. But this offense would like him and prefer for him to kick an extra point on this drive. And to do that, David, they've got to have more rhythm on offense. Yeah, create some more rhythm, create some more explosive plays, and maybe some more balance. And listen, it's nice to have that weapon and kick long field goals. If you kick too many field goals, you don't get very many Ws. To the air. It's Arnold. He's got his man. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. My old coach said to never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. The Sooners headed quickly to the line. They'll try to bully their way for the first. And he surges up to the 36-yard line, and they'll move the chain. All right, defense, that's, that's what we can't do. We can't give up this many chunk yards on the ground. Got to commit more guys to the line of scrimmage. Got to get those running backs on the ground. That's way too easy. 
And the Sooners will line it up on first and ten. Use the play fake. Now to throw. A strike downfield. He puts him in business across the 50 into the 46-yard line. It'll be first down. Well, he's able to make it easy after that catch, and I think his speed is something that just scares DBs to death. When you think about great Oklahoma receivers recently, guys like CeeDee Lamb, Sterling Shepard, Hollywood Brown, DBs gave them so much cushion because they were afraid they were going to get run by, and I think that's how defenses treat this guy, too. With his speed and his playmaking ability, he scares you to death, and that cushion helps him out tremendously. And a lot of times you want those big plays, you want those splash plays, but sometimes you're going to take some losses, you're not going to run the football overly well, but if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance, you at least have the threat of it, otherwise you're just going to abandon it and now it's just going to be a passing game. Picked up two yards on that last one, they need eight on second down. Back to throw, it's Arnold, dumps it to the back. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. My job is to make sure that ball comes loose. And I got to go through that guy, use my shoulder pad, drive my feet, really, really be physical. Because if he bobbles it at all, or as soon as his hand gets to the ball, you can tell the difference when that body jerks forward and that ball starts to come loose and pop out. With the catch, it's Burks. Really good surge for this offense. They move the chains, and he's got it at the 34. When you're a playmaker like this guy is, your coaches are going to dial up plays intended for you, especially on third down. That's what you saw in that last play. There was no question where the quarterback was going with that football. All week long, they decided on the biggest downs of this game, we're going to target our best player, and we're going to make sure that he gets looks. It doesn't matter what the coverage is, and you saw it right there on that play. It'll be a draw. Squeezes out a couple of yards down to the 32. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. The Sooners want to crank the tempo. The give out of the gun. Got enough for the first down. Brought down just outside the red zone. He moves the chains. It's at the 22. And a great job by the offensive line. If you're going to run the ball right up the middle, you better control the line of scrimmage. You can see the center, the guard, the tackles doing a good job getting on their guys just enough where this running back can get into space and make the big game. Pulls it and fires to the left. They make the stop, but the sweet rolling catch is plenty to give them a first down. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Defense has to be frustrated. The offense keeps matriculating and matriculating and matriculating the ball down the field. Going with the ground game left. Give him about a yard on the play. It's down at the 10. We reached the quarter break with Oklahoma on top. They've done the work to build a nice cushion. Now to bring it home as we check out the stats after three quarters. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Snowed under after a pickup of two. They'll mark it at the eight. Third and long, and they'll need to get it close to the goal line to convert. To the air, it's Arnold. Using his feet to buy time. Touchdown, Oklahoma! 
The offense flexes its muscle a bit and widens the gap. Take a little exhale. You know, you, you did your job. You got points. Now you put your defense in a position where, hey, go out and get another stop. We're in great shape. So the offense definitely taking care of their business. Lining up to add another. And the extra point is true, and they have a two-touchdown lead, up 14 in the fourth. They're lining up to boot it away. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Temple takes over, and the Owls send the offense back onto the field. Going up top on first down. Grabbed over the middle. It's Clark. And that was some kind of collision between a couple of big bodies there, and he stopped from getting the first down. Second down. Linebackers trying to create some confusion. And the Owls want to move quickly. They'll go to the ground. Defense not budging. He's still able to get two to the 29. This offensive line better figure out a plan for this D tackle. He is tough to block with one guy. You might want to start double teaming him. He's going to be a problem moving forward. You saw all of his ability on that last play. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. They'll try to get the first through the air. Quickly complete. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. And even though they're trailing here in the fourth quarter, they've got a quarterback that can bring them back, but they need him now to play his A-plus level of football. We saw a nice completion on that last third down. Let's see if he can keep it going. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Unloads to the wideout. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. Using the quick game. Brought down at the 46, but he got 10 on the play. Well, down two possessions. Good news is you get the completion. Bad news, though, did not get out of bounds. You know right now, saving the clock. That is at a premium for this offense. This Temple offense putting together a nice drive. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. Caught in the backfield, it's Cruz. It's a fumble! That football must be riveted to your rib cage. How can you let it go? At least they fell on it. I don't know if it was luck or aggression or just a fortuitous balance, but at least they've got the ball back. But one thing I do know, Reese, this running back has got to do a better job with ball security. You cannot turn the football over and expect to win this game. They're very lucky they were able to jump on top of that. Looking for a man. It's Brock. Just goes right through the wicket and brings up third down. Man, he will be thinking about that one. Well, that's disappointing for the offense because that's a play that you rep all week long in practice. You should be able to hit that one no problem. And QB receiver couldn't come up with a completion. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Gives it to the back on the draw. You're not getting him on the ground. Still on his feet. They wrestle him to the ground, but he's got plenty for a first down. This defense really is on their heels. They've been on the field now for a long time on this drive, and they're just getting pushed around at the point of attack up front like we saw in that last play. 
Temple lines up quickly. Comes out throwing on first down. Quick completion on the out. And he go to bounds after a nice pickup on that one. It's important on offense to get the tight ends involved in the passing game. These are big fellas that can run. This guy's a big target, so nice job on that play. Now here on second down, see if they keep tossing it around. He's looking to throw. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. Quarterbacks love throwing slants to big boys. When you've got big targets, man, it's hard to miss them. Great job throwing to a guy that tall, putting it near his body, and he plucks it in for the catch. Chains are set, and Temple has it with another first and ten. He's going to pass. Feeling some heat. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. And the quarterback gets hit again. I already know this defense has gotten home to him multiple times in this game. So here you are. You're trailing in the game. Defense knows you're going to throw it. They're pinning their ears back. You can't feel very confident right now if you're the play caller and certainly if you're the quarterback that you're going to have time to throw. To throw. It's Brock. And he drops it. Just took his eye off of it at the last minute. And, and they split the tight end out wide. They get a matchup. And what do you want to do? You want to body him. Run a slant throw it, use that big body, get the catch, but just a lack of focus, didn't just fully concentrate and pull it in, and just a painful drop for the big tight end. Off the play fake. Getting some heat. Another incompletion on third down. This offensive line is not going to like watching the film back uh, tomorrow when they get the opportunity because they have gotten beat time and time again up front, especially in passing situations. All of the hits, all of the sacks that this quarterback has taken is the biggest reason why they're going to lose this game. On fourth down, they'll throw for it. He got it. Turns out to be an easy conversion for this offense as they move the chains on fourth down. I love the aggressive nature offensively there. It's fourth down, and you're going to try and go for it. And you have so much confidence in your quarterback to be able to make that play, come up with a good throw, keep the drive alive. First and goal, and this feels like their chance to give them a finish. Takes a snap, wants to throw. Pulls it in in the end zone. Touchdown, Owls. Well, we wondered exactly where the momentum was, and it looks as if Uncle Mo might have switched sidelines and switched families. And momentum is such a big thing. It's such a real part of college football, isn't it? And you can just feel that right now. It just felt a few minutes ago like this game was over, and all of a sudden, this team, they're believing in themselves. They've got some win. They've got some hope. Their defense now needs to get the football back to keep that momentum going. Here comes the two-point try. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. He's not quite going to get there, and the try for two fails, and they are unable to cut into this lead any further. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. inside his own clock. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. They keep it on the ground. Clock is their friend. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. They'll go right back to the run. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Timeout called there by the defense. Desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. And the running game has gone in the wrong direction. The offense tries to turn it around and go forward on third down. Using his legs, it's Ocha. 
They stop him after a short game. Probably just wanted to mitigate the losses with fourth down coming. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. The Sooners line up to punt it away. Surprisingly makes a fair catch just outside the 40-yard line. Line gets set, first down. He wants to throw. Unloads it left. Makes the grab. And he's brought down after a nice game. And it was the defense that got this started, right? They were the ones who got the stop, forced the punt, gave it back to the offense, who now just picked up a nice completion. You win as a team, but give the defense credit for getting this thing going. Clock is still running, and they have to get everybody lined up. They'll throw it on first down. That's caught. It's right. The clock will stop with this timeout from the offense. They'll get a chance to regroup on the sideline. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. After the short completion, it's now second down. To the air. It's Brock. Fires to the tight end. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. You're seeing a lot of confidence out of this quarterback now. Three for three on this two-minute drive. He understands that he needs to step up if his team's going to win this game. And he's playing his best football right now. IndyCar tempo as they head to the line for this third down play. Clock running. Looking to throw for it. Catch in the middle. It's Smith. He stopped quickly, but not before. He has enough for the first down. Guys out of the backfield now, it's not just run the ball downhill anymore. You've got to be versatile. I've got to be able to trust you in the pass game, and I've got to be able to throw you the football, and you can do that right there. I know you're going to catch it, and I can depend on it. Offense rushing to the line of scrimmage. Clock is stopped for the first down. They'll try to get it off quickly. The throw is incomplete. It leads to second down. Now on second down. He's looking to throw. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to fight another play. Man, this late in the game, it's go time. I got to have a score. I'm not worried about downs. I'm going through my two-minute script. We know what's coming. We practiced this all week. It's second down, incomplete pass, go to third down. We need to go for it on fourth down. This offense just has to keep that high energy up and try to run these plays fast. On third down, going up top. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. What a fantastic job by the defense that time, forcing the incompletion. They've got the lead late, setting up fourth down. Can they come up with one more stop? If they get it, they might win this game. Down of possession here in the fourth, and they'll need to convert on this fourth down. He'll go up top, maybe a deciding play here. Makes the grab, and he's got the first. And he's wrestled out of bounds after a nice pickup. Guys, this offense has a couple of jobs. The first one, get the touchdown. Then they'll need the two to tie here in the fourth. On the move, it's Brock. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to avoid the loss. First things first. You're down by eight, but you got to score a touchdown on this final play. You've got to dial something up to give yourself a chance on the two-point to send this into OT. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He's looking to throw. He's got it. And he steps in just in the nick of time to get the touchdown they need. And now they need to cap it with a two. Man, what a great job by this offense. And listen, we'll break that down later, but it's go time now. It's two-point conversion time. you got to go to your script. you got these written down in a section. Two-point plays. You didn't know it was going to be this crucial, but late in the ball game, this will decide the game.
This crowd beside itself, trying to help that defense make a stand on the two. He's looking to throw. Got his man quickly. He is in there, and he's got the two, and we are all tied up here deep in the fourth. Coming down the stretch in the fourth, and we are all tied up, about set to kick it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. And the return man reaches the end of the line, and down he goes. Four quarters, not enough to settle this one. We're headed to overtime. And these teams have played so well, back and forth, evenly contested game. How about a little free football? Yeah, I love this, David. Free football. I'm finding out which of these two teams is the most mature. Who can settle down now with the game on the line and make the big play? All right, guys, so here we go in overtime. And just to refresh everyone's memory, alternating possessions starting on the opponent's 25. And you want to play defense first because you want to know what you need. That's a key philosophical approach for most teams when it comes to overtime, David. Yeah, and remember the rule change a couple years ago, too, in, in the second overtime and two-point conversion. So all this stuff is situational-type football that you better have worked on throughout these weeks of the season. Going to run it. It's all Chuck. And he's called most to that first down marker there, saying he's a little bit short. They might want to bring out the sticks and measure, but it looks as if he'll be just short of the first down. And the Sooners are in the red zone. Trying to run. It's Acha. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. Offense breaks the huddle on third down. To the ground to try to move the chains. Finally pulled down, but not before. Moving the chains for a first down. Man, you played this whole game back and forth, back and forth, into overtime. Now you've got a chance to set the tone, run the football in overtime, and be a little physical. And if you can run the ball and not put it in jeopardy by throwing passes, uh, that's a great way to finish the deal. Scanning the field, it's Arnold. Makes the catch! And he's knocked down. Using him out of the slot, he has just been unstoppable. And I love putting dynamic athletes in the slot that I can move around, that I can put in motion, that I can I can make him go in or out. I can put him off the ball so you can't get hands on him. And they've really featured this guy today. They'll run it. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And with the stuff there, Jesse, on second down, this little third to mid-range, you got two downs. What are you thinking here? Maybe getting your quarterback out on the perimeter and giving him a run-pass option. See if you can get the defense in a bind. A gut check on the doorstep. Third and goal here in overtime. Trying to push their way into the end zone on third and goal. Touchdown sooner! And they score first here in overtime. And I love it. I love the physicality of this offense. It's third and goal. I trust my offensive line to pave the way, give the ball to my running back, and know he's going to physically punch this thing into the end zone. The all-important extra point would push this lead to seven. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. Now on first down, they need to answer with a touchdown. He wants to start this drive with a pass. And the quarterback will take a sack back at the 36. Another sack on a day. This offense has to do something different. Maybe bring in more bodies, run max protection, keep more guys in the block, only send a couple guys out to run pass patterns. you got to do something different. But bottom line, you got to protect that QB.
Now the offense has to overcome the negative play after the defense comes up with a sack. Looking to pass. It's Brock. Got the back over the middle. Bulldozes his way through. Several defenders get an assist on that tackle. Well, offensively, they knew they were going to have some matchups they could take advantage of in this one. And all of a sudden, this quarterback has now over 300 yards passing in the game. Defensively, David, he has got them on their cues. And he's been showing you a little bit of everything. He can throw it all over the field to all different receivers, to his tight ends, to his running backs. Really has the ability to spread it around. And now over 300 yards. Still some time left, and he can put up even bigger numbers. And heck, go chase some awards, man. Get some postseason awards. Get an All-American. Just put up a day. Perfect timing to call that pass play. It's third and short down here in the red zone. Everybody in this team expecting you to run the football, and if you don't get it, maybe you kick a field goal, maybe you go for it on fourth. You don't have to worry about that now because of the pass completion. It's first and goal. Touchdown, Owls! They got it in the end zone. Now a decision to make with the point after. Obviously very hard to complete passes this area of the field. Nice execution. Now you're down by one. And now you got to make the decision. Are we going to go for it and try to end the game right here and put this game in our offense's hands? What do you think? And that's why I love having the ball second. Because I get the opportunity to do this. I knew they scored a touchdown. We scored a touchdown. Now, do I want to go for the win? Or do I want to continue this game on? It's so nice to have the ball second. This is like that two-foot putt. They still need to make it to force another overtime. And they pick up the extra point. Kicker knocked her right down the middle. That ties the game at 38 all. Now first down here in the second overtime. The give to the right. Good pick up on that play. It will bring up second and four. With a condensed field in overtime, if you can establish the run, it is a huge advantage. Big time advantage. You establish your physicality, come out the gates, puts you in a positive way. Now I can play action, opens the whole playbook. Here comes second down, and this crowd is turning it up a notch. Snagged on the outside, it's Bolden. And they'll shove him out of bounds after the short game. You know, tight ends are such matchup nightmares and problems for defense. They're too big for DBs to cover, and they're too fast for linebackers to cover. You saw it right there. Looking to throw, it's Brock. Gets it out quickly. They get him down, but this offense is set up first and goal from the nine. How valuable is a tight end in the red area, and now they're set up with a first and goal. I love it. Find the big fella down in the red area. Big target, works the middle of the field, easier throws. Nice job by this offense, keeping it very simple. Looking to throw. Got it! Touchdown, Temple! Got it in to take the lead here in the second OT. This is like a baseball pitcher that can't miss. He is just pounding, pounding, pounding the strike zone. That just gets in the zone, right? When you can't miss, you, you, you've seen quarterbacks get like that. No matter what they do, they're on fire. They're hitting the receivers. And listen, that's also on the defense. The defense has to do a better job making him feel uncomfortable, changing what they're doing in coverage so he's a little loose. You can't just let him pick you apart. Second overtime, and they'll have to go for two. From the gun. They got it. Executed beautifully, and the lead is eight in double OT. They know what's in front of them. They have to answer that score with a touchdown. To the air on first down. Throws toward the end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma! Got it in for one part of the job, and now the two-point.
point conversion attempt is coming. I think the quarterback showed his head coach a lot on that last touchdown pass, the poise and the confidence. And because of that, David, on this upcoming two-point play, you might just put it back in his hands and let him go win it for you. Yeah, man, I need it again, right? Like, these rules, I got to go for two. This is a clutch moment, obviously. Got to come up big. Do you trust him again? You worked on these two-point plays all year long, all week long. That's what you do. You know the rules. Now you got to go execute. They've got to get it in on the two-point try to force a third overtime. Power ahead. They couldn't get it in, and what a heartbreaking way for this one to end in double overtime.